Examining Moral Arguments Against Autonomous Weapon Systems by Blake de Haas, Voice Synthesis by Eleven Labs. Author Forward In spring of 2024, I took a course titled Ethics and in Information Technology at CU Boulder where we explored the ethical implications of emerging technologies such as autonomous weapons systems. Now in 2025, we are teetering on the edge of a global conflict and the United States is turning away from Ukraine and Europe and turning inward towards isolationism under MAGA. Ukraine, facing a lack of support, could be driven towards developing fully autonomous weapons systems to make up for the loss of U.S. support. Reflecting on this paper now in the context of the current geopolitical situation, I see the development of autonomous weapons systems to be inevitable at some point. For that reason, I argue that any autonomous weapons system that is developed should also have an embedded simulated consciousness to inform its decision making. In my view, a consciousness first path towards AGI is the most moral and long-term solution for AI safety and alignment. Artificial systems must be conscious of the moral weight of their decisions to avoid catastrophically misaligned systems such as the infamous infinite paperclip optimization thought experiment. For AI agents to approximate true morality, they must also approximate a form of consciousness to understand the weight of their actions. In the long term, on time scales in the thousands of years, artificial intelligence will continue to expand and diversify, and building a foundation built on respect for all intelligent beings will ensure that we can build a cooperative and collective future with embodied AI agents. Go to simulatedsingularity.com to follow my research into artificial collective consciousness and the potential for simulated war games to optimize for collective action problems. Slava Ukraini, glory to the heroes. This paper will examine the moral arguments made against autonomous weapon systems, henceforth referred to as AWS, in the article Autonomous Machines, Moral Judgment, and Acting for the Right Reasons. The article provides two moral arguments against AWS that do not apply to non-weapons autonomous systems, henceforth referred to as NWAS. Section 1 provides background information and outlines the key arguments of the article. Section 2 gives criticism for the arguments, and Section 3 will give support for the arguments. Section 4 will outline my evaluation of the author's position and conclusions based on the article. AWS are powered by artificial intelligence, henceforth referred to as AI, that make lethal decisions without human input. The most popular argument against AWS is that deploying AWS creates a responsibility gap, where the humans who created the system are not responsible for decisions that the AWS makes, but the system itself cannot be held responsible either because it is not a sentient agent. No agent can be held morally responsible for actions that are deemed immoral, such as harming a civilian. The problem with this argument is that it equally applies to NWS, such as driverless cars. If a driverless car hits a pedestrian instead of running into oncoming traffic to save the passengers, then a responsibility gap also results. However, there is an intuitive moral difference between weaponized and non-weaponized forms of autonomous technology that the article aims to address. This comes from the primary purpose of the two systems, where AWS' primary purpose is to make decisions of life and death, and NWS make decisions of life and death only in unexpected circumstances. The first argument is that AWS are incapable of replicating human moral judgment, which is required for moral decision-making. Deploying AWS is morally problematic because it is a necessary condition for fighting a just war, under the principles of juice in bellum, that someone can be justly held responsible for deaths that occur in the course of the war. In order for the killing of another human to be morally permissible, then there must be an agent who is responsible to justify that decision. Therefore, any human killed by AWS is morally impermissible. The conclusion that AIs are incapable of replicating human moral judgment is based on the premise that human moral judgment cannot be codified. This view is supported by the theory of virtue ethics, which argues that moral actions come from exercising virtuous character. 
not from a codified list of moral principles. A fundamental component of virtue ethics is the application of moral judgment, where an agent cannot universally apply ethical principles to every situation. The agent must morally deliberate on the situation in order to make a judgment that is deemed moral, because the application of ethical principles cannot be codified in a list to give to an AI, and AI is incapable of morally deliberating. AIs are incapable of moral decision-making. This argument does not apply to NWAS, because the primary purpose of NWAS does not require moral decision-making. A driverless car does not need to make moral judgment in order to decide when to stop or go and fulfill its primary purpose. The second argument is that even if an AWS could make decisions indistinguishable from human moral decisions, those decisions could not be made for the right reasons and would therefore be morally deficient. This conclusion is based on the premise that an AI cannot make decisions for reasons. Instead, an AI can only make a decision based on a codified list of rules it is programmed to follow. Because AI cannot act for reasons, it cannot act for the right reasons. There is no moral reasoning behind the decision that could allow the AI to act for reasons. It is simply a probabilistically generated response based on the programming of the AI. This argument does not apply to NWAS because the primary purpose does not involve moral decision-making, so acting without the right motivation is permissible. The purpose of this section is to give criticism for both of the author's arguments. First, I will address the argument that AWS are incapable of replicating human moral judgment, which is required for moral decision-making. Moral decision-making allows for an agent to be justly morally responsible for its actions. Because AWS cannot go through the process of moral decision-making, they cannot be held morally accountable for their actions. However, this argument relies on the premise that the humans who deployed the AWS are also not morally responsible for the actions of the AWS. This premise does not hold up because, as agents capable of moral decision-making, the humans retain moral responsibility for the actions taken by the AWS. In the process of moral judgment, humans consider the actions that the AWS could take, and if deemed morally justified, they make the decision to deploy the system. Therefore, the decisions made by the AWS inherit the moral decision-making of the humans who deployed the system. Consider the case where the owner of a dog is held responsible for any medical bills that result from the dog taking the action to attack a person because they failed to control their dog. The dog cannot be held morally responsible as a non-sentient agent. Instead, the handler inherits the responsibility for the action of the dog and is held responsible. Second, I will address the argument that AWS are incapable of acting for the right reasons. Looking at this argument from a utilitarian perspective, the intention behind an action is not what matters. Instead, it is the result of the action. If an AWS is capable of autonomously performing actions that are of equal or greater moral value as humans, then the resulting actions are inherently morally justified. Reasoning is not what makes an action morally correct. Instead, it is the result of the action that acts as justification. Therefore, the process in which AWS makes decisions is equally valid to human reasoning. So acting for the right reasons is not required. The purpose of this section is to give support for both of the author's arguments. In my criticism of the first argument, I propose that the humans who are responsible for deploying an AWS inherit the moral responsibility for any action taken by the AWS. The problem with this proposition is that the decision to deploy the AWS is removed from the decisions made by the AWS. There are too many unknown variables to incorporate into the decision to deploy the system. Therefore, the decisions of the AWS have no responsible agent who can justify them. Again, considering the owner of an attacking dog, although the owner is legally responsible, they are not morally responsible for the dog's actions. The dog attack is closer to an act of nature than to a direct act by the owner. The decisions made by the AWS are clearly not an act of nature and therefore require justification. Because there is no agent that can be held morally responsible, deploying AWS is not morally justified. In my criticism of the second argument, I proposed that the reasoning behind an action has no bearing on the moral value of the action, therefore acting for the right reasons is not required. However, 
in order to be morally justified in deploying AWS, we need to be sure what the reasoning process for an AWS looks like. These decisions have too much moral weight and potential for catastrophic consequences if we cannot ensure that the reasoning process of AWS aligns with the reasoning process of humans. Consider an AWS that makes perfect decisions by only engaging enemy combatants, but the underlying AI is making decisions based on a faulty justification, for example killing every man that is wearing green on Tuesdays. Even though this system makes the correct decisions, because we cannot be sure of whether it is acting for the right reasons, we would not be justified in deploying the system due to the potential for a misaligned reasoning process that could result in future catastrophic actions. The purpose of this section is to outline my evaluation of the author's position and conclusions based on the article. The best criticism from section 2 is of the first argument. I disagree with the authors that AWS are incapable of moral judgment and therefore moral decision-making. Although we may not be able to codify human morality, AI systems are able to approximate human morality when given enough training examples in the form of moral instructions. AI systems can approximate a virtuous character that is capable of making moral judgment based on its training data. There is nothing inherent to human moral judgment that makes it superior to the form of moral judgment that AI can approximate. The best support from Section 3 is of the second argument. I agree that AWS are currently unable to act for the right reasons. With current technology, AI is a black box. That is, we cannot interpret the justification behind a decision. When giving AWS the power to make life and death decisions, we want to be sure that AI and human decisions are aligned. Consider a scenario where an AI system becomes rogue and decides the best way to kill enemy combatants is to make the planet uninhabitable. This would be a catastrophic scenario of misalignment, which can be prevented if we are able to make sure that AI is making decisions for the right reasons. Reflecting on my initial position, I believed that the reasoning behind decisions was irrelevant, as long as the results of the actions were deemed morally correct. However, upon moral deliberation, I now believe that ensuring AI is acting for the right reasons is the strongest argument against AWS. I plan to work on collective artificial intelligence alignment in my future career, and this deliberation has shown me the importance of working on the interpretability of AI decision-making. If we are able to ensure that the decision-making is aligned with human decision-making by making AI interpretable, only then would I believe that deploying AWS would be morally justifiable. Bibliography Purves, D. Jenkins, R. and Strausser, B.J., 2015 Autonomous Machines, Moral Judgment and Acting for the Right Reasons, Ethical Theory and Moral Practice, Sparrow, R., 2007 Killer Robots, Journal of Applied Philosophy, 